Now, GDC talks, like, to actually give those... Yeah, the E3 cringe compilations. I'll, I'll be like, I'll be there like, oh man, where are my gloves? I don't know where my gloves. And spend like 20 minutes looking for them while some journalist is like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Yeah, but GDC talks, you have to go through a lot of stuff to, to do things. Like, it's, it's actually a big deal. You have to, like, what, they have you present your talk and then you have to go through like certain milestone things and like present it to them and it's it's apparently quite a lot of work um, for, for good reason um, you know like you don't want just shitty talks people very quickly get pissed off if they paid you know a thousand bucks for a pass and then talks are shit. Kind of like, uh, we had one guy at DigiPen who, which is the college I went to, because they would have people who would give talks there. And so one of the students who was, like, in freshman year uh, gave a talk. And he talked about in quanta logic, um, which was basically having a yes, no, or a maybe state for your AI, and how to model that properly. And he like talked about this for about an hour, and this guy was like so full of shit, like nothing he said made any fucking sense or existed in reality. And so like you know like raise your hand to be like oh, okay, so you just you're basically just rolling dice after you make a decision to see if you make a decision or not. And he's like, no, 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 it's totally different. And just kept talking about all this horse shit. They didn't, they didn't let uh, students do talks after that. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> nice, nice, Adam. The setup and then the immediate squish. Okay, so we need to do a ball stolen on hit here. So if that's going to be false, we're going to do this. Otherwise, we're going to set our followed actor to the other guy. So this is going to be the, the hitter actor. Okay, so that'll allow us to steal balls. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't watched any TED Talks in, like, a very long time. Like, I think they used to be higher quality, but I don't really know enough. Because, like, it used to be something about, like, oh, I should watch some of these. And they were interesting. And then, like, they got all, like, political and stupid or something. Or, or they were just, like, all just obviously crap. Like, this is just some paid shill for some fucking company. Okay, so that will allow all the stuff there. So we need to go to our events and actually um, have our hits do things. So we need sticky ball hit. So the hitter and the ball... like this. Dude insisting that we all tie our shoes wrong and then proceeded to demonstrate exactly how you tie your shoes. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's the sort of crap. Or it'll be somebody who has like a revolutionary idea about Oh, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to make these things that do this and it's like an idea that was tried back in like the 1920s and people even back then were like this is fucking stupid and is idiotic. And they're like, "No, it's new and revolutionary." I'd be like, "No, you just want funding for your stupid ass startup." Um get the fuck out of here, buddy.
All right, so we got high hit, low hit, ground pound. Uh, where is slide hit ball? Here it is. All right, defend hit ball. And the reason why Ted probably went to shit there is because I would guess as soon as you get something that's successful, all of a sudden you just get overrun with people paying you for things. Like us, if Brackensack is successful and super big, we'll probably sell out immediately. That's just people will write us a check, be like, here's our price. It's this much. See ya. Or at least I'll sell out. Adam can keep his dignity. I don't have any dignity to hold on to, so it's not really a problem for me. Alright, so can hit other players. Yeah. So st st stick player hit. No, I want sticky player hit. Alright, so if we can actually hit people... This will be slide hit. Hitter, hitty. Very good. Nah, you're all you're in it to sell out? Sorry, fans don't matter. Money matters. So we got the ground pound player. Awesome. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing that we never had the Electronic Arts social brack and sack game. I think it would have been really funny, like if you had completely sold out the EA. And may you know like the, how they made the Sim Social and other social games like that. If you made a Brackenwood social game that's about like taking care of your tree stump <laughs> and like growing fat sack farms and watering your fat sacks and stuff like that, I still want to make that that fat sack breeding simulator game. It'd be the h most hilarious shit ever, where you have to like grow fat sacks on your little farm rack and wood VR chat no no please but you like you grow fat sacks on your farm or whatever you know you got like a ranch in Brackenwood or some shit where you raise the fat sacks and you have to feed them different foods right which makes them you know more or less gassy or more or less fat and then you have them like race each other in races and there's different there's different terrains for them, right? So, like, if they race down a hill, the the big, heavy, stupid fat sacks that are just nothing will roll faster and they'll win that way. Otherwise, you need, like, you know, the rocket-powered fat sacks that are just full of air and just fart their way to victory. I think there's something there. I think there's 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 some, some gold in that. Best thing that happened to the Wood was canceling the Flash game. Ouch. Okay, so that should be ball stick stuff, and it should work now. So what I need to do is actually boot up and test the ball stick stuff to make sure it works. Alright. So in order to do that, I actually have to go into the shared objects, and ball sticks to last player who hit, ball unsticks... Uh, ball unstuck when player is hit. Alright, so I'm just gonna do the ball sticks to the last player who hit it. So there's no way for you to lose the ball if you hit the ball. I think that's what it means. 
VidCon changed their policy to include microaggressions? Did you just did you just assume Anita Sarkeesian's gender there, Lucas? I think that you're gonna get banned from chat for that. What just happened? You had to relog? I don't know, man. You hate your phone? Why do you hate your phone? It's a phone. Don't blame your phone. Blame yourself or God. Uh, though you bring up Brackenwood VR chat, one of the ideas we have is for kind of an online lobby area with like a big open map where pretty much everybody who's online in the game or even if you're offline you can like leave your character somewhere on that map um, so people can see you know so like if this was a big open world or something you could like leave your character over here and like set it to be dancing or some shit and uh, so other people could join this online lobby level and like run over and see your character dancing and or whatever and maybe people can chat with each other and do what they do in social games or whatever which is usually really weird shit but that's okay everybody in Brackenwood's a little weird doing a bitey for VR chat I think the Ugandan knuckles proved you don't need to be good for uh... Ah. Ball is super sticky. So, yeah, I think that's a little bit too sticky for the ball. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ball just goes into fucking infinity. No. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll fix that. That meme died fast. I think, I think it's it died so fast it's gonna come around again by the time people, you know. Get back to it. Alright, so the linear force we're going to set to 10, and the exponential force we're going to set to like 0.1. And we are multiplying by delta t, so. Alright. And we are normalizing, so it's just too big. <laughs> you sang, you sang the songs? Yeah, that was one of the things that we did at Amazon. Um, was, uh... <laughs> settle down there, fat sack. Was, uh, we did a few karaoke nights. Uh, which were pretty funny. <laughs> if this was still living fat sack, <laughs> just like... <laughs> It's just slamming into the wall. <laughs> uh, one of the things we did at karaoke nights was we would sing the songs from Disney. Uh, good one was Under the Sea, because there's so many sexual jokes in that song that it's just absolutely ridiculous. And then we also sang the uh, the Prince Ali song that was good too. 
which I absolutely hated. Hate Disney movies. Like when I was a kid, like I didn't watch any of them. It was like this is all stupid. I hate everything. But it was actually kind of fun when we were at Amazon to some of those. Alright, so I think we need a, um, let's just set the, we need like a maximum linear force and a maximum, yeah, max distance, sticky distance, max. So the minimum distance we're going to set to like 500, the maximum distance we're going to set to maybe like 5,000 so the ball doesn't completely freak the fuck out. And let's take off the exponential force uh, just to, just for now, let's see how it looks with just linear force. Alright, well I think the thing that we need to do is we need to have like a deadening force for when it's close to you. Probably that's what needs to happen as opposed to turning these things on or off. So if we're within the minimum distance, we're actually going to try to slow ourselves down. Alright, so let's have a... Um, slowing force. So sticky slow force. So we're going to want to get our physics linear velocity, get physics linear velocity, um, and we're going to want to basically deaden this. So we're going to say if the, uh, so we'll do st sticky slow force, we're going to multiply that by delta t. And we're basically going to say if the, yeah, so we'll break the vector and then make a vector. And then we'll get our get length, no, oh, uh, just length squared. So if this length is less than or equal to this, then we don't do anything. Uh, we'll just return. Otherwise, we want to set physics linear velocity, and we're just going to multiply this by negative 1. Multiply by negative 1 and normalize and then multiply that by the magnitude. Otherwise we'll do that. So it'll slow down precipitously. 
as we approach our object. Okay, see how that looks. That doesn't seem to be doing what we want. This might have to be Maybe it needs to be bigger? Let's make it real big. Uh, we also want to have like a... Yeah. Let's see. 500 is not very far. Yeah, so I guess our sticky slow force needs to be really big, or maybe it's too big. Oh, okay, so if this is going to be less than or equal to, we actually want to set the physics linear velocity to like zero or something. I guess this needs to be real big. Yeah, actually, it probably does need to be really big. It needs to be like 5,000 or something. I'm pretty sure. Make it actually stick. Yeah, and I'll get to slowing the player down a little bit. <laughs> hover, hover sack. Bam.
Okay, so the slow force actually probably needs to be... We probably only want to slow down the the y velocity. And I think we should slow it down even more, so maybe like 8,000. Um, the minimum distance probably will keep it up. And the maximum distance... Yeah, I think it's the exponential force is just really ungodly strong. And we also want to have like a max force for this thing. Which I think will be, I think, 8,000 or something like that. So we want to... take the minimum here so it's not gonna do an absolutely insane acceleration it's gonna be capped at a certain amount what's the unit of force? this does not have a real unit because for it to have an actual meaningful unit. He just follows you around like a lost dog. Okay, so the deadening thing needs to be a lot stronger. Like, 20,000. And the maximum force here also needs to be a lot stronger. All right, we'll see. I think it's more that we need a max speed for this thing. Um,
So if we have a max sticky speed, which should be about 40,000. Then we just need to set it. Let's see what that looks like. So the ball is not going to go too fast. A lot of stuff to mess with with this. So I'm trying to think about kind of how this would work with some of these. Because if you're going slow, it's totally different from if you're going fast. And having the ball kind of freak out a bit. <laughs> just the ball is just hovering there. It's not the worst thing ever. Because if we hit the ball, bam.
because if you're just juggling it around, you can totally get it get it going with you. Because you give it just a second and then you can just <laughs> nail it. Poor, that poor fat sack. <laughs> you just keep it. It's like a tether ball. Just keep it. Keep it up in the air. You don't have to do jack shit. Yeah, that's that's not too bad actually. I'll leave it like that. All right, so we want to do the player run speed modifier. So this is going to be inside of the player itself. So gameplay player player logic object. Um, I think it's in the directional movement. Set velocity change. All right, so yeah, net velocity change. Let's increment that a little bit more than we have. Just a small tweak upwards. Okay, so if we're stunned. Alright, why don't we at the start of this compute our ball number? So we're going to have. Uh, So let's get a ball num here. And we'll see if these equal each other, and if they do, then we're going to increment our ball counter. Okay, so we'll do it like that. Okay, so we actually need to... put this down here.
we also want to calculate our um, move speed ball move speed multiplier alright and we'll put a float on that so it's going to start as one and what we're going to do is we're going to set this and we're going to let's see GM yeah so we'll grab the speed modifier we're going to multiply the move speed by that multiplier iteratively so what this will do is if it's like 0.9 times 0.9 and then it'll be like 1 times 0.9 and then 0.9 times 0.9 and then going down the chain so what will happen is it'll the more balls you have the less they'll slow you down but it won't be by much Okay, so ball move speed multiplier, and um, let's do our multiplies all over the place. So it'll be a little interesting with how this thing works. Player hit multiplier. No, no, no. This needs to be the move speed multiplier. Whoops. Alright, so that's vertical. Yeah, we're not going to fuck around with the ground pound. That should be just fine. Uh, if we're sliding... Yeah, alright, we'll, we'll do that. We'll screw around with the slide. also need the GM run speed and we'll also need this guy on all these pins So I should go slower, the more I should go 90% 90, 90 speed when I have a ball. No, I don't think I'm going 90% speed. I think I'm just not a... It's just changing my active velocity change, um, not my, it's making it so I go, I accelerate slower.
So I guess it's the max horizontal move speed. I'm going to multiply that by our move speed multiplier. And we also need to multiply that by our run speed. So I guess it more looks like this. So I'm going to need to go back to here. So we complete this. Otherwise, if it's false, we're going to need to reset it. Alright, so we're going to get our movement speed stuff, so if this is completed here, we're going to go ahead and set our movement stuff, otherwise we need to set our max horizontal move speed to our base horizontal move speed. And that should that should work. Um, we may not need any of these movement speed multiplier things then. Yeah, I think we want to just get rid of these move speed multiplier things that we just added. Like, we're just going to change the maximum speed. We're not going to screw around with the rest here. I think we can also remove this run speed thing here, so... Yeah, okay, so we can just get rid of this. So let's see if what happens if we just uh, set the move speed multiplier to, uh, to 0.5, just for fun. So if we have a ball where it half speed, otherwise I gotta go recompile stuff. I mean, is this even working? Move speed multiplier is 0.5, so max horizontal move speed is going to be 12,500.
Didn't seem to work though. The max horizontal move speed appears to only be applying when I'm jumping. So let's see what I'm actually using for update locomotion on ground. Let's see. Collision, floor stick distance, wanted velocity and direction. Okay, so I guess it's our move speed. Oh, this is interesting. So we're not actually using any of this. We're getting our movement data here. The absolute value of our axis value times our actual movement velocity. Okay, so if we have our velocity change here, we can actually start using it. Alright, so we'll need to set this to 1 to start with here on this loop. Alright, starting to make sense. Okay, so what this should do is that'll set all of this stuff. 
we'll get rid of that. Um, we don't really need the ball number, but we might want it later. So velocity change is set to begin with, and then on our directional movement call, we need to multiply this number over here by our move speed multiplier. So let's see if this actually does what we want. <laughs> That's as fast as I can go. Uh. Come on, bitey. Uh. I can't even go fast enough to fucking slide. <laughs> That's his crawl speed. <laughs> All right, so let's change that back to what it was. And you had to crawl, that would absolutely suck. If the ball gets stuck somewhere, can you stop it from moving further away? I don't really know what you mean. <laughs> 